Paul Whelan has been held in Russia since 2018, and his family wants more answers on U.S. efforts to bring him home. Whelan, a retired U.S. Marine, was arrested in Moscow while there for a friend's wedding. He was charged with espionage by Russian intelligence officials two years ago. He was sentenced to 16 years in a Russian prison camp. Whelan and his family have continuously said he's innocent of all those charges. The U.S. government classifies him as wrongfully detained. Last week, President Biden spoke with Whelan's sister, Elizabeth, about his detainment. This is the first time the family had been contacted either by President Biden or former President Trump. All this since Paul was taken into custody. Paul's brother, David Whelan, is with us now. So, David, how would you characterize the call that your sister got from President Biden? It was reassuring, for sure, and obviously a great honor. Um, it is a concern of every uh, family of wrongful detainees to know that the U.S. government is making their loved one a priority. And I think once the president calls, you know for sure that it's uh, on the radar. And do you think the call was an outgrowth of the visibility and publicity attributed to Brittany Griner's case and the president's call to his wife, Sherelle? I think at least partly. Uh, I like to think that President Biden is a good and kind person and would have made the call anyway. But my sister had asked four times for a call and had not received one. And I think the White House has given mixed messages about whether a call or a meeting with the president is a meaningful next step for the resolution of a wrongful detainee's case. And so whether or not it is, uh, I think my sister was very glad to have that discussion with him. David, you were kind enough to speak with us last week, and you said, Paul, your brother has been able to speak on the phone with the family or your parents almost every day. Has your family had those kind of conversations since the president's call with your sister? And if so, what have you learned, if anything? Well, we asked him. Uh, we, we let him know that uh, uh, President Biden had spoken to our sister and uh, whether he had any response. And his, his response was, thank you. Thank you for uh, making the call. Thank you for continuing to uh, look for ways to resolve um, Paul's case. Um, and, uh, and then it was back to work. Uh, he uh, let us know about what's going on in the prison. Uh, we are continuing to try and uh, get a package to him from the U.S. Embassy in Moscow so he can have uh, food, nutritional uh, things to supplement the prison diet. And uh, so it was, a, it was a great experience. Uh, obviously, the phone call from the president was. Uh, and now we're back to you know, working day to day until Paul gets home. And David, this is hard to know for certain, but I'm just curious, did your family get a sense that the information that the president had talked to Elizabeth buck him up at all? I think obviously it would help to know that the president uh, of your country um, personally cares. I think it's a huge deal. Uh, now we need to see if we can get the uh, Russian president to care about releasing Paul as well. For those who may not know this, the former governor of New Mexico, Bill Richardson, expected to travel to Moscow in the coming weeks. He is very involved in wrongful detainees, has had some success in this space. Um, and he was going to discuss not only Brittany Griner's case, but your brother's case. Do you know anything about that trip? Do you have any sense of increased optimism about its possible results? I don't, and I don't want to be a downer, but uh, Governor Richardson has been involved in Paul's case since February of 2019. And his role, because he doesn't really have a, go a government mandate, is to try and find common ground. And so, so far, he's been unsuccessful in Paul's case to find that common ground uh, for the U.S. government and the Russian government to then come to an agreement. Um, but each of these visits is, is a step forward. I think I, I hope that that common ground will be found. And so uh, we're encouraged that he's continuing to engage on Paul's case and uh, we're hopeful that each, each visit will help. For those who are not familiar with this, and I've gotten to know families of wrongful detainees throughout my career, it's a very difficult space to occupy. You don't always know what the best strategy is. Sometimes you get conflicting sentiments about what the best strategy is from people in the U.S. government and people on the outside. Overall, how's your family doing? And how do you feel about the Biden administration's efforts of the last couple, three months? I think our family's doing as well as we can. We are, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say experienced at what we, we're doing, but we now have three and a half years under our belt. So whether we made the right choice to, you know, make a lot of noise or go public or do what we've done, we have to live with the choices we've, we've made. I think the last three months, certainly uh, the last year and a half under the Biden administration has been a sea change. Uh, we've seen much more focus on Paul's case, much more focus uh, by the U.S. government on wrong, wrongful detainees uh, in general. Uh, and so that gives us some hope that perhaps we won't be waiting another 13 years uh, until Paul finishes his sentence for him to come home. 
Um, but it's still uh, it's still a waiting game. It's still uh, we won't be sure that anything has happened until Paul is actually on his way home. And David, real quickly, how does Paul describe how he's doing physically? Do you have any sense of that? Uh, he's lost about 20 percent of the weight he uh, went to Russia with. And uh, so that's perhaps not, not the best uh, health condition. Uh, he's getting by. He's in a uh, labor colony in Mordovia, and he's doing the best he can with whatever the Russian government will give him and whatever we can supplement him with. Whatever they give him and whatever you can supplement with. And it's a complicated process to supplement with anything you want to send, to be sure. David Whelan, brother of Paul Whelan, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me, Major.